がれきが散乱するエンシロタテアルバイブ今月9日に撮影された東京電力福島第一原子力発電所の3号機です作業員は床を拭き取りながら進みます汚染の状態を確認するためですそして地下に降りる階段では光の反射で黄色く見える部分、電気炉から漏れ出したとみられる水が溜まっています。この時確認された放射線量は最大で1時間あたり100ミリシーベルト。壊れた原子炉から放射性物質が漏れ続けています。建屋の外にも飛び散っている放射性物質。食い止める策が動き出しました。一号機の方原子炉建屋に放射性物質の飛散を抑制する建屋カバーを計画しておりまして、原発から50キロの港に集められた巨大な鉄鉱山。この鉄骨で原子炉を建屋ごとすっかり覆うカバーを作るのです。鉄骨の骨組みに厚さ1ミリほどのシートを貼り付けて作る建屋カバー放射線量の高い建屋のそばで高さ50メートルにも及ぶ巨大構造物をどう作るか使われるのは日本の伝統建築の技柱や梁に刻みを入れて跳ね込む木組みという技法です基本的には無人で接合していきます。遠隔操作でクレーンでここまで持ってくれば、一切ほとんどあれば、こう自然に入っていくというような構造になります。カバーの骨組みは、鉄骨を木組みのように組み合わせることで作ります。鉄骨はクレーンで持ち上げます。ボルト締めなどの作業がないため、作業員の被爆が最小限で済みます。最初にカバーを作るのは、建屋の上では、先月下旬、原発の敷地の境界での基準の18倍の濃度の放射性物質が検出されました。カバーは、その放射性を食い止めるはずです。東京電力は、1号機のカバーの9月下旬の完成を目指すほか、3号機と4号機にもカバーを設置する方針です。Japan's nuclear agency has instructed power companies to ensure the safety of electrical devices, like the one that burned at a nuclear power plant after the March 11th earthquake. A high-voltage power supply board at the number one reactor of the Onagawa nuclear plant in Miyagi Prefecture short-circuited and erupted into flames shortly after the quake. The Nuclear and Industrial Safety Agency believes that the fire began when parts suspended inside the device were shaken violently and collided with each other. The agency has found that 71 such devices are in use at four nuclear plants without stabilization measures. The locations include the Fukushima Daiichi and Daini plants. The Nuclear Safety Agency has given the utilities one month to implement safety measures. The Tokyo Electric Power Company has begun taking steps to deal with the large accumulation of highly radioactive wastewater at the disabled Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. The company is checking a decontamination system with the goal of conducting a full-fledged test as early as Friday. More than 100,000 tons of the toxic wastewater has accumulated in the plant after months of pumping in water to cool overheating nuclear fuel. The water is hampering efforts to bring the facility under control. TEPCO is struggling to find storage space for the water, which is accumulating at a rate of 500 tons daily. The treatment system combines four devices, including those made by French and U.S. companies. The French-made device uses a special chemical agent to treat the contaminated water. The U.S.-made device is designed to remove radioactive cesium. Tuesday's test showed it reduced cesium by a factor of 3,000. TEPCO plans to reduce the level of radioactive substances by a factor of 10,000 before moving the decontaminated water to temporary tanks. 
Technical problems delayed the test by four days. Tokyo Metropolitan Government has begun measuring radiation levels at 100 locations to provide accurate information in the wake of the Fukushima nuclear accident. The action comes after some individuals and municipalities found local radiation levels higher than those officially announced. The Metropolitan Government currently measures radiation levels at a monitoring post in Shinjuku Ward, central Tokyo. But it decided to make a more detailed assessment of radioactivity across the city. On the first day of the survey on Wednesday, officials measured radiation levels at a park in Toshima Ward, central Tokyo. The measurements were taken at five centimeters and one meter above the ground, and hardly anything was detected. The readings were 0.07 and 0.06 microsieverts per hour, respectively. The figures were roughly the same as the readings at the monitoring post in Shinjuku. The Tokyo Metropolitan Government plans to complete measurements at 100 locations in about a week and post the data on its website. Starting in September, the Japanese city of Fukushima will begin distributing radiation detectors to children. That move comes after the earthquake and tsunami that devastated a nuclear plant. As eerie as this plan sounds, the radiation detectors are intended as reassurance. Lucy Kraft reports from Tokyo. Reeling from charges that it's not doing enough to protect citizens from radiation, the embattled Fukushima city government will spend about $2 million on radiation detectors for children 15 and under. The badge type gauges will be checked monthly to pinpoint accumulated radiation exposure. The response from local residents like Keiko Sasaki has been lukewarm. She says they already know the radiation is too high, that it's not fit for children to live here. The world knows it and the government can't deny it. Sasaki and other parents, who angrily confronted bureaucrats in Tokyo recently, say there's only one solution, wholesale evacuation of everyone under 18 along with pregnant women. She says all kids, including high school students, should be evacuated outside the city. That's what the government priority should be. Under pressure from residents, the city has started removing contaminated topsoil from some of the hardest hit public schools. For NPR News, this is Lucy Kraft in Tokyo. Radioactive cesium exceeding Japan's legal limit has again been detected in process T from Shizuoka City, more than 300 kilometers from the Fukushima Daiichi. more than 300 kilometers from the Fukushima Daiichi. If you imagine that you have a tray, and on that tray you set down a pile of pebbles, okay? And then you sprinkle baby powder on top of those pebbles, okay? And then you hold the tray up and blow it. The baby powder will be distributed around and the pebbles are still on the tray, okay? Try it yourself. Shizuoka Prefecture is one of Japan's leading tea producing areas. On Tuesday, 581 to 654 becquerels of radioactive cesium, cesium per kilogram were detected in processed tea from five factories in Shizuoka City. The legal limit is 500 becquerels. Prefectural officials have asked the five plants to refrain from shipping their products to conduct voluntary recalls. The tests were conducted after cesium beyond the legal limit was found last week in tea from the city for the first time since the accident at the Fukushima Daiichi plant. Small amounts, uh, they banned milk and, and uh, leafy vegetables from this area, and I'll show you exactly what they banned, but remember my talcum powder situation, if it's going to land in farms, leafy vegetables and all of those things are where you're going to see it. So they banned milk because if this dust is landed on the grass and the cows eat the grass, it can burn the milk. And all the leafy vegetables are where you're going to see it. Anything that's lying open, if you had your deck chair sitting out there, they landed on that too. But anything that, that becomes produce, they just say, we'll just quarantine that whole 20-kilometer area. And it's Conduct voluntary recall.